What it do, baby? It's your boy Tyreek Wynn. Y'all are tuning in to another episode of NJP, Navigating Journalism Podcast. Guys, we got a good one for y'all today. We got the Tinsley Bradford on in the studio, in the building today. How you feeling? Oh my goodness, Tyreek. I am feeling so amazing. First of all, to be in the presence of greatness. Oh, thank you. In the actual studio, <laughs> getting ready to chat about something that we both love, journalism, and a lot of people love. So I am totally looking forward to this segment. Thank you yeah. so much for having me. Of course. Yeah, I'm excited you're here. Appreciate you so much for taking the time, guys. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe down below. And make sure you share the episode with somebody, fellow journalists, all that good stuff. Help us grow here at the show. So... A little bit about, I'm trying to figure out, I can't remember, but how did, how did we meet? I got a, I got one of those memories, honey. So, um, I, I don't remember the name off the top because I'm, you uh -huh. know, don't don't get me to trying to remember. But we yeah. both was at an event doing journalism, doing some videography mm -hmm. for an event. Um, okay. I think it was the guy was launching his clothing line, a sweatsuit okay. line, in honor of his late brother who passed away. Mm -hmm. And so you were doing videography there. I was doing my videography there at the same time. We didn't really talk much. You was doing our thing, but then we connected online and stayed in yeah. touch ever since then. So it's like been just like, oh, we've been cool ever since yeah. then. Like, yeah. And that was some years ago. That was like more than three years or maybe four or five years ago. Yeah, because I'm trying to think back. I'm like, I don't like, <laughs> to, like, I don't remember like all the details. I kind of vaguely remember a little bit, but yeah, yeah. I just knew, I knew we had met at some event. It was some like journalism red carpet. That's I knew it, it I was. just did remember the Pacific one, but, but yeah, we've been connected ever since mm -hmm. and then been connected online and all that good stuff and it's just been great it has been amazing <laughs> it has been amazing and watching you evolve and grow oh, into you. this with your own studio now i'm so proud of you and so excited for you so I thank you for just that. setting the tone and the example of what it looks like to be passionate about something i appreciate that and guys a lot of y'all have asked me you know about this fatal attraction gig this lady right here <laughs> i mean i remember because it was crazy because the way it happened I was, mom and I was just sitting watching the show. And mom was like, Terry, you ought to see. And I was literally about to graduate like a week later. <laughs> and I had been wanting to do different things within the field because uh -huh. I wasn't going to a physical television station to like be a reporter and stuff. She was like, you ought to figure out how you can be a journalist on there. And I was like, yeah, I should. So I just started like researching online, couldn't find anything. Right. And then it was crazy. We were watching the episode and then I seen you and I was like, wait, what? Because <laughs> I didn't know, I, I don't think I had, remember you had like posting about on the show or something like that, probably just didn't see it. Mm -hmm. But um, I was like, wow, like she's on the show. And so I had reached out. I was like, hey, do you have any connections on the show? Because it's all about who you know in the relationship. Oh my right? goodness, yes. Yeah. It is. And it's like, because when I was online doing research, there was no application to fill out. It was just <laughs> like, you know, and no producer contact information. Right, you just right, had right, to, right. you know, you just had to just know somebody who was in there and you were in there. And, um, you know, the producers that took a look at some of my work and it was crazy. The day before graduation, they had called me up for my first episode and That's, so, I, so I can remember seeing you with the hat on like through, yeah. and did you make that you made that one right did you make it there or you had to like do another yeah one? I did make you that did one. I remember mm -hmm. that yeah. yeah yeah so of course you know so first of all when you see happy to have referred you by yeah, the way I appreciate a that. great referral but when you see somebody that got that it factor in that package mm -hmm. and they're passionate and they're like genuine as you are um, that's one of the points I'd like to make today when we talk about journalism always connect with like nine not like-minded people yeah. who are passionate, who are genuine people, and who, once you connect with them, you see that there is a history and a pattern. You all develop a friendship. You develop a relationship. You develop um, some type of collaborations together. You know, like I think this is the second time I've been on one of your, your platforms where you're interviewing me, and I appreciate that. Yeah. But when you see that, that's genuine love. That's genuine respect for the task, for the industry of journalism, um, videography, you know, media, all of that. And so... And I say that because you got to make sure you're connecting with the right folks. It's so important in this industry to do that because each other's connection can take you a long way, you know, and um, that's something that I cherish. So yeah. I'm very happy. And not. And, and can I add that he's killing it and crushing it while he's on there? <laughs> Thank you. The Jupiter Entertainment definitely kept him. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate can that. Can I say that on here? The yeah, name yeah, of the production? Yeah, of okay. course. <laughs> yeah. And so, and, and yeah, I, and then just watching you too was really how I got that. I was like, because I had watched a couple of your episodes and then just a couple of other ones and just watched so I could get the hang of it because I was like, 
when I go up here, I got to knock it out. I got to make sure they ask me back, you know? Right, right, right. So I had to make sure I knew what I was doing. And I know a fir like my first time, it took me a little longer because I was like learning the ropes. But after that, we was just, we was just knocking them out. Knocking you know? them out. And let me ask you, I'm glad that you brought that up, Tyreek. Yeah. So what is your study strategy? Like, were you like, so I'm going to tell you what mine is and mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you, have you answer yeah. yours. When I get the scripts, I, I, I try to do like a muscle memory of it. Like I'm not mm -hmm. gonna remember all that, especially if they send it to me a day before, I'm not gonna yeah. remember all that. <laughs> but um, I usually go over it, Bertha did this, Bertha did that, Joe did this, Joe did it, and then I like, now I have a little bit of it in my muscle memory. <laughs> On the day of shooting, a lot of times people were like, you remembered all of that? How did you know? Were you there? They like thinking that you were there yeah. and you're just telling the story when really you actually mm -hmm. got a script, right? Yeah. So I would glance at it and because I had already looked at it and had some of it in my muscle memory, reading it, trying to remember it for that particular um, shoot or whatever, it makes it easier for me. So perfect example, I can look at your shirt. He's repping Fatal Attraction, journalist, yes, by the way, TV One. <laughs> 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 but I can look at your shirt and say, Fail Attraction Journalist, TV One. All right, you'll be like, y'all ready? I go, Fail Attraction Journalist, TV One. I've already, Journalist, TV mm -hmm. One. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. in my muscle memory just that quick. So that's how I do mine. How would you, mm -hmm. how would you record <laughs> yours? Like, I would have to look at my hand and go, my paper and go, all right, right, all right, okay, okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, no, I, so what I do, of course, I look at it. I try to look at it sometimes, but if I like if I get it the day before, sometimes I might not even have a chance to look at it, right? Especially like because it's been sometimes where I would get it like the night before, and that's no problem because you know it's television's production. That's just right. how it works sometimes, right. right? And so that's not a problem. But I was like, it was a couple of times. I ain't even seen the script till I got there. Right. Just because, I mean, they had sent it. I just hadn't had a chance to look at it. And so really what helps me is when I have the producer sitting right in front of me and I had him repeat it to me about three times and then I just repeat it back. Because I'm like, when it comes to like scripts and stuff and saying stuff on camera, mm -hmm. I'm an audio person. Right, 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 right. You know? right. And it, it depends. Like sometimes I'm a visual guy. And like, I can look at the script, but I really just need to hear it. And then I can say it back to you. Right. Yeah. And I love that you brought that up because that <laughs> became my go-to as well, yeah. where um, at first I'm looking at my paper, I'm going, I read it to myself. Then I'm like, okay, I'm ready. So and so and so. Then I start doing what you're saying. I'm like, <laughs> she's like, you think it'd be better to do it like this? So that goes to show there's a lot of different ways that you can show up on camera mm -hmm. to make sure that your appearance is amazing for the camera and for the viewers. And also so that, like Tyreek said, the producers and team will want to call you back. Because trust me, if you flopping and it ain't giving what it's supposed to give, chances are you're going to get your one little yeah. thing. <laughs> you're going to be sitting on your way. You know, so it's important to be ready and be camera mm -hmm. ready. Um, everybody doesn't have teleprompters. You know, some people have teleprompters. Mm -hmm. I know I did uh, filming one time for some type of advertisement and it was so helpful that that team had teleprompters in there. So as I read, I'm looking at the camera, but the teleprompter is on the right so I can kind of read as I was going versus this, someone's telling you what to say and you're like trying to say, okay, I'm on the spot. They're filming this now. I got to get it right. And so <laughs> those are a few ways that you can do it, but that is so smart. Yeah. Making sure they read it to you first if you don't have a teleprompter and then going off that, Take a deep breath when you're doing anything and just try to not overdo it. That's another thing. If you're too anxious, oh, the man went outside and oh, you're going to be looking crazy. <laughs> but if you say the man went outside and he saw the dog and he came up there and he shot the dog. Why did I use that term? That was horrible. Well, Sorry I mean, it, I mean, it is gruesome. The show is, we not, the show is gruesome. It is. It's horrible, you know, yeah. but yeah. So that's awesome that you do it that way, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah. Cause it, it helps out. It helps out like so much and stuff. And it's just like, it just, it just makes it easier. Right. right? At right, least right. for me, especially like sometimes if I ain't seen the thing mm -hmm. or if I haven't, uh, or just if I haven't read it and done my part, like I was supposed to do. But <laughs> you know, Terry, you out here doing all kinds of stuff yourself. You got your own production show. Sometimes you're not going to get to it. <laughs> until the yeah. day of, till like you're walking in the door. Yeah, That's when you read sure. over it. No offense to the team, but you know, you're over here doing other stuff too. Yeah. So yeah, you're sure. not reading it is excusable. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. So what I, so I wanted to ask you, how did you get on the show? Oh, yeah. I'm so glad you asked me that <laughs> because a lot of times people think, and, and, and like you said earlier, who you know is important, mm -hmm. but also knowing where to go is important, y'all. So for me, I said, Tagging people online, it's a very saturated world. They ain't gonna see that. They may not even be online. Who is the person? I said, how do I find out how to get on this show? And then I thought about it. 
I said the producers are the ones. The casting directors yeah. are who you reach out to. Reaching out to one of the journalists who appeared on there ain't going to do nothing. Mm -hmm. You have to reach out to the people behind the scenes. So I found out who produced that show. Credits come up at the end. You can do your research online. You find out what companies are producing them. I emailed them directly. Mm -hmm. And I said, yeah. hello, I'm Tinsley. Hey, y'all. You know, <laughs> um, I'm looking to do commentary. I briefly explained why I would be a good fit. I briefly gave them a short background. I even did a video. Okay. I had like a, some some people don't take your videos, but I yeah. did a short video. That's I cool. said, yeah, that's "Hey, really I'm Tinsley, and I do this, I do that. I'm a dating coach, so and so. I love watching Fatal Attraction. Always know something about it. Mm -hmm. Know something about that company. Don't just seem like it's all about you." I was able to say, "Oh my God, the way y'all talk about crime scenes. I'm a crime show fanatic. I've been watching y'all for years, and I've always wanted to be a part of the of the family. If you're looking, I asked. I didn't say put me on there. I if you're looking for some additional commentary, I would love to contribute. Um, let me know how I can contribute. And I've also put a few clips of what I've done over the years so you can take a look at my background. Hope to hear from you soon. I made sure my like email that. was short and sweet. I didn't yeah. go all into, I've done this, I had awards for that, I've done that. I just said, I'm Tinsley, looking to try and contribute. I love how you do Fatal Attraction, and I also love For My Man. I'm a crime show fanatic. Hey, if y'all looking for somebody, hit me up. <laughs> like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. That's 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 good. That's a that's definitely good. And then you also did some unique. You did a video. Yeah. And, and fun fact, uh, but like when you do these different, um, like when you do these different game shows, like if you applying to be on Family Feud mm -hmm. or like stuff like that, they always want to see videos. So it was good that you included a video in that because I'm sure that like a lot of these production companies and producers, mm -hmm. they like to see video and see you in action. So that was, um, I'm sure that had contributed a big factor it to you getting did. on the show. You know, I'm glad you brought that up. It did because what it showed was personality, mm -hmm. what I look like on camera, how yeah. I speak, how I come across. And so too many people can email and they all the hype and they get mm -hmm. in there. <laughs> the man went down the street and they're like, what have we just done? Yeah. You know? <laughs> Yeah. Not to hate on anybody. Sometimes everybody mm. just don't have it. You know, yeah. they don't have it naturally. They have to like actually study to have it. Some people do, some people don't. But um, yeah. definitely highlighting your gifts without over overwhelming them with too much mm -hmm. is a key point. Making sure you reach out, and that's for any show you may be interested on. Like, say for instance, it's not just crime drama shows. You may be a Real Housewives of Atlanta fan. Mm -hmm. You may want to be on <laughs> one of these game shows. You may yeah. want to be on something. Um, I also joined. What is the name of that? app that I have that really helps you be able to see the back end. Have mm -hmm. you heard of, is it called IDMB? Oh yeah, yeah, IMDB. IMDB yeah. Pro. Yeah. Pro, mm -hmm. makes you do pro. Um, it's a small fee every month, but if you look at IMDB Pro, I hope I'm saying it right. Yeah, yeah. They know you what join, <laughs> and I'm telling you, you can just go into the search on there and find shows that you're interested in, you know, uh, Unsolved Mysteries, whatever these things are. And here's where the helpful part is you go on there and you search the show you may be interested in commentating on or joining forces with or even being one of the actors or extras on, and you look at it. That IMDB Pro will show you if that show is still shooting. Or if it's like they only did 15 seasons and then they're done. You don't want to reach out to someone that's no longer shooting. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure you see it where it says started in 2010 and it's still active. They're still actively filming for that show until this day. That's the ones you reach out to because now you know that they're actively filming. They're probably looking for someone. You look at the type of talent that they're asking for on that show. You see if you're a good fit for it because, hey, you may not be a good fit for that type of show. They may be looking for a different type of image, you know. Yeah. But um, it's always good to look at that. That way you can see if you're reaching out because I've actually looked on there a few times and I've seen shows that I've always wanted to be on. And they haven't shot since 2014 because <laughs> yeah, they only yeah, are running yeah. reruns. So also mm -hmm. be mindful of that as well. Yeah, that was that's definitely a good tip. And I'm so glad that you mentioned that to our audience. So those of y'all who didn't know, that's the gateway. That's go how you do out. it. Go See, straight like, to the source. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Dropping gems on NJP. So that that that's really great. And I'm glad you mentioned that. I, I used to use um, that website, IMDb Pro. Um, and I used it to get all my celebrity interviews. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because when you look, and this is just a little nugget that I'm that I'm giving out, but you only get the nugget if you watch them, right? Right. So <laughs> the nugget is, you were using it for that. I was using it to get all the celebrities on my show. So what I would do was I would go in the search engine. I type in the celebrity's name, right? I remember I typed in Tyler Perry one time. Typed in Tyler Perry. Really wanted Tyler Perry's interview. Who don't yeah. want Tyler Perry interview, oh, right? Oh, don't. don't. <laughs> exactly. So I typed in, and then I looked up, um, looked up his name. All this stuff came up. On the left-hand side, 
his um a list came up of different people phone numbers and emails right so mm -hmm. you got his uh you got his manager you got his publicist you got um all these and sometimes they'll have more than one right right, right. so i just seen that publicist's name reached out to that publicist that was his publicist right mm -hmm. now i didn't get the interview but i still made the contact right, right and right. we've been connected ever since and stuff he's just been crazy busy so mm -hmm. you know it doesn't uh, just hasn't made the time yet it's gonna happen but, watch yeah 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 soon so yeah I'm, I'm hoping for it praying for it claiming it but yeah that's just um that's another strategy like if you're independent or if you're i mean just regular news or doing entertainment and stuff that is a great strategy to yes. also get your celebrity interviews so definitely yeah we, yes. yeah definitely got to use that everybody should be using that website use if you're gonna it. be in this industry there is a fee but it's worth it because if you're really passionate and you're interested in this industry and you want to mm -hmm connect with the right people in the in the business use that tool and I'm not only saying that to promote them I'm saying it because I use them and I've been using them yeah. for years and it's benefited me you know for that purpose um I wanted to also share that whenever you're reaching out if you know he said he didn't get anything yet never let that cause you to give up on mm -hmm. your passion because sometimes they may not have gotten around to you yet as I mentioned earlier what you're trying to pitch may not be a good fit for where they are at the time exactly. they may not be trying to do that right now but then later on they're going to say oh Remember that young guy reached out? We all, we're at the point now where we want to start doing some of that. Let's see if we can connect with him. Mm -hmm. They're now ready for what you're trying to pitch, you know? And that's what it really is. It's a pitch. You're pitching an idea. I want to interview him. I want him on my show. I would like to do the red carpet. I'm pitching to see if I can be a guest on your show. I'm pitching to see if I can commentate on your show. Hey, I want to be one of the actors. You know, I want to be the person in the car that they found abandoned in the woods or whatever, mm -hmm. you know? There's ways for you to stand out in those fields, but just don't think all the time that they're shooting for that particular subject matter. They may not be but they may shelve you for something in the future. You know, that way you can know that. And I say that because sometimes people want instant gratification and it right. kills their spirit when they don't hear back and they start to get discouraged. You may not always hear back. I remember one of my first TV appearances. It was right here in Atlanta, Georgia. Mm -hmm. WSTV uh, 11 Alive News. The producer who reached out to me had a avatar that looked like a cartoon character. She didn't have hardly any followers on Twitter. This was years ago. She reached out to me and said, hey, Tinsley, I saw your so-and-so online. And she said, we're interested in doing a segment about something here locally in Atlanta for Valentine's Day. You're a dating coach. We loved how you come across on camera. We'd love to see if you want to shoot. Now, I'm bringing that up to say, had I been the type of person to judge her based on her status online, mm -hmm. I would have missed out. She had 27 followers and an avatar that like a, ca a cartoon character. Seriously, woman? Yeah. But when I did my research, she was the executive producer at that TV station. And she had a lot of ways of booking people and I was one of them that she reached out to. <laughs> I immediately took her seriously, emailed back and said, yeah, absolutely, I would love to join in. And then they filmed me and I had a great segment on there. But I say that to say, don't let things kill your joy and also don't judge a book by its, co its cover all the time. Just because her profile wasn't big, some people not big on social media. Some people just comfortably doing their things behind the scene and they're okay with that. They don't need a big following. They're just the producers for the show doing their thing. Just like the people we work with at Fail Attraction, yeah. a lot of them don't have these big followers. I'm the camera guy over there at that show. You know, yeah. Some people don't do that. <laughs> some of them are just like chilling, living their life. Mm -hmm. And they when it's time to go to work, that's when they go to work work you know and so don't ever judge people because they have a small following they may be the very very key to your plug into that industry yeah man we dropped man juices gems is being dropped on this episode ready I love for it. These gems? <laughs> yeah that is such that is such a good point you brought up and i'm glad you and i'm glad you brought that up and i can say that um i am a you know i can say i can be transparent and admit that i did struggle with that at some point uh not hearing back from people, I'd get discouraged and stuff. I'd get upset. I mean, but I, over the years, I've learned that, you know, that's just how it is. And it's just going to be like that. And you can't get upset when you don't hear back or somebody tells you no that, you know, right now we're not looking for people on this show <laughs> and all that stuff. And, and I mean, it just happens. And sometimes it's not no, it's just not right now, right. possibly in the future. Right. And then you also talked about these producers and their social media, but <laughs> you brought up a really good point because I will say nine times out of 10, the executive producers and people that I've worked with, they're not really on social media right. like that. So right. like they might have a little bit of followers, but they are the main person in charge. They are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because a lot of them, I mean, and they're behind the scenes, so they don't really care for social media like that. They don't really care to be on camera and stuff, not like the talent and stuff. So, I mean, it, ma it makes sense, but 
Yeah, like that that is right. so true. <laughs> and everybody's not looking for that large big platform. Some people mm -hmm. want to be in front of the camera. They want everyone to know what they're doing. And it's not that everyone's bragging and boasting. I like to call it creating excitement around what you're doing to influence and inspire others, to motivate other people who may be wanting to do something similar. Some people brag and boast, and I get it. That's what some people are doing. But whenever I'm posting and sharing, it's usually just to say, hey, got another one. Want to know how you can do it? Or, hey, look at me doing it. Hey, get up and do it, too, if you really want to. It's to share that I'm doing this, and I've seen a lot of people out there wanting to do it. And if you feel like you're too shy to do it, sometimes seeing someone else do it over and over again yeah. can only influence. And then it's going to say, wow, I want to do what she's doing. Oh, she just said do that. I'm, I'm going to go do that, you know? And they get excited about it. And I love creating that type of excitement for people. I love people wanting to do stuff that they're passionate about. And if I feel like my appearance on something or uh, a nugget, as we're saying today, that I dropped, you know, has made someone want to go closer to reach their greater purpose, then I feel like I've done my job, you know. And so a lot of their producers are not trying to become celebrities off of this. That's another thing. Don't think don't knock it. You sitting there looking at someone's page again and go back to that thinking that they're not in a big place because they're not posting and blowing everything up. Turn around and that's the person that you walk, you meet walking through the door at an interview somewhere. You didn't even know that was the person. You clowning them online, you belittling them and you judging them and bullying them. And you say, okay, let me get dressed and go to this interview. You open the door and that's the person that you just bullied online walking yeah. out the door who's at the table. That's the boss. So be very <laughs> careful about how you act when you try to belittle people because they don't have a million followers or more. Mm -hmm. These people are in some high places in these businesses they just ain't boasting about it they just exactly. ain't telling everybody they're just living their life so respect people mm -hmm. yeah you know? and it was funny and I, I like i got a prime example of that the other day i was at the um other day because you know i'm at iheart and across the street we got the chattahoochee works right mm -hmm. and so i'm just walk and so i'm just walking around right and then um my friend had introduced me to this guy, right? So I was like, you know, hey, how you doing? And we was just casually carried on a conversation and it was good. Cause I always treat everybody nice regardlessly. Yeah. Like, I don't, you know, you that's do. just, that, I'll vouch for him on that. He does. He does. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. Cause that's just my personality. But little did I know, I didn't know to the end, I was talking to the owner of the place. Like he <laughs> like he wasn't walking around advertising it, but he was the owner. I was like, whoa, you're what? Like, you know, so it was, yeah. it was just kind of crazy. It like sometimes that's just just how it is you never know who you're talking to never know who you right. walking past and stuff so i always want to be nice and right. treat everybody with kindness and then if you don't if you're not able to treat them with kindness i because mm -hmm. people's personalities are different some people are very dry and nonchalant they could come across as unfriendly they're not unfriendly they're just hey tinsley how you doing i'm good yeah that don't mean I'm mean. I'm just mm -hmm. not. I'm great. You know, like yeah. I don't have the personality. So <clears throat> if you have that type of personality, sometimes it's just best to be respectful. Mm -hmm. Shake their hand. Fine. Nice to meet you. And go somewhere. Go away. Because yeah. what you don't <laughs> want to do is be seen as some mean person that's yeah. not really that's respectful. Not really and they're like, because, like, you, you know, <laughs> first impression is the last impression. They're going to go, oh, that dude was dry. Mm, yeah. I don't know if I'm him. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. say little and move on and give them the opportunity to say, I kind of want to learn a little bit more about that person. Then you can start shining, you know. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have that immediate energy, like some people, everyone doesn't have that Disney World energy yeah. when they meet people. They just don't, you know. Um, but if you don't, it's okay. But just as long as you don't let that be your downfall, unless there's your character. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have to say that if you're <laughs> online and that's the character that you're trying to portray, a dry person that's nonchalant, it works for some people. Mm -hmm. um, that's who you are. Don't go out of character. Just say, hey, this is just me. I'm nonchalant. That's yeah. just who I am. You know what I'm saying? But if you're trying to shine and stand out, you might want to kind of put a little bit more energy behind your nice. introduction. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, def definitely makes sense. So we talked a little bit about the show, Fatal Attraction, all that stuff. What are some other things that you do within the journalism realm? So first and foremost, I've been reading around where a lot of online media outlets, um, a lot of companies and you know big platforms are talking about the no need for degrees, no more need for certain things. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> you can study some things, but you have to, if you don't take a, a class in journalism or some type of, you know, course in communications, you need to do that. I have a degree in communications with my, you know, my major being communications and my minor being journalism. And the reason why I got this is because I didn't, I didn't grow up knowing exactly how to articulate everything. I didn't know how to, you know, do those, you know, those pitch emails. I didn't know how to have interpersonal intelligence and understand people and be able to connect to them on a deeper level, which is very important in the business. I'm not saying go get a degree, but I am saying study the craft more. A lot of people don't do it. They think they can just get out in the camera and they can just talk to everybody and it's working for some people. But a lot of times they don't have that ability to have the extra stuff that you know you need. 
the professionalism, the ability to be respectful and kind to people, the ability to have that type of energy that's attractive to people. They come on here and they be mean to everyone and it works for a minute for likes and a little money. But then later on, PR stuff happens and they don't have anywhere to go. They fail at that part of it. They don't have anyone to save them from a PR, or PR standpoint and they're sinking. So I, Kylie, I, I strongly suggest that you get some type of education in communications, some type of education in journalism. Like I say, a course, it could be going to school for it. It could be taking some type of, you know, study groups. It could be joining organizations. I know that you are a member of, aren't you a member of like some of these news yeah, outlets? Yeah, NABJ, yeah. ABJ. Yeah. yeah, join some mm -hmm. of these places because that way it'll teach you some things that you need to, to know about it. Um, also, if you're not good at talking, right. I have blogs that I still I write about. Like blogging is still journalism. Yeah. Let's not forget, like newspapers aren't really being thrown on the lawn like they used to be because everything <laughs> is digital. I get it. Yeah. But you'll be surprised how far a lot of your articles can go if you get out there and write, you know, write, blog. Mm -hmm. If that's something you like to do and you don't really talk a lot in front of their microphone, express yourself through writing, you know, set up a blog, a free blog online or whatever. Set up your online website and write, write and post your articles, you know, and say, hey, I'm talking about this today or whatever. Still, there's still people out there that read. There are still people out there that read. I know everything is digital, di digital and videos and all of that. That was a new word, digital. I like that, digital. I, I just came yeah. up with digital. So it's okay. a combination of video and digital. Digital. Yeah. We, we own the something. I know. Man, what? <laughs> Come on now. Like, yo. <laughs> but what I'm saying is right. You know, people, those articles circulate and you'll be surprised. Just like the lady with the avatar, the 27 followers found me at a space that I didn't even think she would find me on. Um, I also want to talk about copyright because that happened mm -hmm. to me. Mm. When you're posting, <laughs> I got to share about that. Yeah, please. YouTube took my entire channel down. Ugh, pissed me off. I didn't do anything wrong. I posted a couple of episodes, only maybe two of them, of me on the very show that we're talking about. Fatal Attraction, uh, For My Man or whatever, TV One. I'm thinking I have the right because I'm looking online on YouTube. A lot of people are posting their videos. They're posting full segments. They're posting full, you know, tapings. And I'm thinking, oh, I got to be good to do this because I'm on the show. I can post this. Well, I later learned that I was not supposed to post those whole segments on there. So I say that to say if you're posting as a journalist, you're in the industry of media, you're in the industry of, you know, being in PR, whatever it may be, make sure you have rights to the stuff that you're posting online. Because if you don't do the checks, somebody going to do it for you. And it may cost you, you know, having your channel struck or whatever. And do you know they still ain't gave me my channel back? Are you serious? Talking about third, they said it'll be back in 90 days. It never came back. But anyway, wow. I'm not even worried about it. Yeah. <laughs> but just be careful because a lot of times they're going to be looking for everything you know media is saturated with millions of people out there with a microphone and a camera and they're out there and there's like it's, it could be tough to stand out so make sure that you're doing the right thing because they're looking for ways to strike people down so that other people can stand out and I'm not necessarily saying it was done on purpose but you never know so protect yourself in that area make sure you have rights to post whenever you're posting and writing things about stuff and using videographer videography or clips online yeah definitely dropped some good nuggets there and i i rem i remember when um they had went through online and they had did those sweeps that's what they did I it was, for me. yeah and they had did those sweeps and i had got i was they were close to um taking my channel too and i remember um when i seen because i I was getting notifications on my phone. It was like a whole bunch of YouTube notifications and I was getting these notifications. And so the good thing was I was able to catch it as it was happening. And so, um, and then that's when I had texted you about it. I was like, what are they doing? Like, right. <laughs> See, that's what happened. I didn't catch it. I yeah. didn't know. And so for me, they sent me the alerts and I didn't even know that they were looking at it like that, yeah. you know? And so that by the time I got there, apparently they had already terminated the channel, but it's mm -hmm. not, they didn't even leave it up there long because yeah. I may have gotten an email on Wednesday and by Friday it was gone. They didn't give me time to take the video down, but just be yeah. careful of copyrights, whatever you're posting and everything. Yeah. And so I had contacted the producer. I was like, are we not allowed to post? Like what is going on? And then they were like, well, you can post like you know, different clips and segments, but you can't post like the entire episode because they yeah. don't flag you. A lot of times they didn't, some, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, to my defense, a lot of them didn't even know. They learned too, mm -hmm. because I was yeah. like looking at some of the stuff that I was reading and they were like, oh yeah, go to YouTube and you see people posting all the time. We all learned the hard way. Let's just say we that. We did, because I see it was like, it wasn't just us. It was just everybody who was posting and yes, stuff. Yes, all like, over the world. People, yeah, people who aren't on the show post the episodes and stuff. Right, right. And Crime, so drama. 
you know, yeah. those those crime <laughs> drama shows, those are, are beasts. People love to watch they it. Really I'm do. a fanatic of it. And so, yeah, definitely watch copyrights. Mm -hmm. um, another thing I could talk about as well is, do you see how lovely this studio is that you have oh, in here? You. You've been blessed. It's <laughs> awesome. But if you don't have a big setup yet, y'all, don't let having a small microphone or just a video camera start stop you from starting your passion in this industry. You'll be surprised that some of the people that sat in their car and video blew up from their car. So don't ever let anything stop you from reaching your greater purpose. You may be sitting in your car and pull out your phone one day and say something catchy. That's what it is. That's just your thing. That's your start. Yeah. Then you can grow and evolve along the way. You know, I'm sure you didn't have equipment all this all the time. No, I'm going to tell you what I started <laughs> with. I, one day. A fake microphone, right? Yep. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love talking about that. I love talking about that story because I think it helps inspire people. But I, my parents took me or somebody took me to Win, Wendy's one day and Wendy's uh, got me a kid's meal at Wendy's and stuff. And there was this um, pink, uh, there was this purple and blue microphone in the kids menu as the toy. And man, I took that thing and I, man, I was out here doing, trying to do some interviews and trying to be on camera, man. And boy, look, me and that microphone went everywhere. Matter of fact, I still, I got that microphone in my office. You got to put that day. microphone on your little case. You know, know. <laughs> another thing I want to talk yeah. about y'all, and I know we got to get ready to cut it short, but mm -hmm. If you want to get out there at some of these red carpet events, just like mm -hmm. Tyreek was saying, going on IMBD Pro, if you haven't set that up yet, find out where a lot of these events are going down. You know, a lot of times they're filming stuff like, um, you know, these awards show. Tyreek and I both have done red carpet interviews, BET Awards, Soul Train Music Awards, you name it. We've been out there on the carpet interviewing celebrities as they walk the red carpet or blue carpet or green carpet these days. You know, but um, if you want to do that, make sure you have it. Let me tell you what I did. I had me like a little tripod stand joystick thing if you want to look that up those things are really mm -hmm. handy joystick i put my cell phone on there and i had my microphone in my hand and the celebrities were like awesome you know the celebrities were loving mm -hmm. it so they were able to yeah. okay <laughs> hey y'all he got the he got the microphone yes this is my this, this is what i started with the, the... tinsley reporting live here with tyreek <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is the cutest thing. Thank Wend you. Wendy's, y'all. Wendy, I need to give another one yeah, of these. I know, I know. I man. would love this. And I the know. color, I like purple and yeah, lavender. Yeah, purple and blue. Yep, this what? is this is exactly what I started with, y'all. Y'all, he started with this. With this. It says, yeah, it's America's Got Talent microphone. So, yes, yeah. never let anything kill your dreams. Yeah, you know, he started, started with that. With. <laughs> but I just have to talk about that, too. You know, if you want to get in, everyone can't get in. Some places have what's called seat fillers. You heard of mm -hmm. those, right? Mm -hmm. I, there were times that, you know, during the red carpet um, interviews, as a journalist, I would get invites. So I would reach out and ask for media credentials. Keep in mind, y'all. Reach out and ask. If yes, you are, you got to sure. stop thinking that tagging everyone's going to get you there. They, they, just like he didn't see his email right away. I didn't see mine. He didn't see stuff. Sometimes you don't see stuff. People are being tagged by thousands of people. Don't always think a tag is going to do it. Email these people direct. I am looking for credentials to show up at your show and interview. I'm a media outlet. I have a microphone. I have a videographer. I would love to do interviews. Some of them are looking for credibility online to see that you have a large following or to see that you've been doing this already. And rightfully so, because anybody can show up with a Wendy's microphone and pretend like they're a journalist <laughs> and they ain't really legit, but we know yeah. you're legit. But some people aren't. So they do have to do their background checks. But make sure that you are asking these questions. If you want to get out there, email these people behind the scenes and ask. It's either yeah. going to be yes or no. Get on these lists. Get on these mailing lists for journalism. Get the inside scoop and start staying in touch and up to date with what shows and what events and what award ceremonies are going on locally in your city. I remember when I did Soul Train, it was in Las Vegas. I flew my butt up there and was on the red carpet and was looking love good it. with my red dress on. Love it. I love that. We got to <laughs> clap it up for that, man. That's, that's awesome. I flew up there twice. <laughs> okay, that's what's up. That, that, is, that is so great. So glad So glad we're talking about this. And man, like, <laughs> we giving the sauce on this episode. Y'all <laughs> y'all got all types of sauce, you know, as condiments for y'all food, man. Yes. This, this is great. <laughs> so, and, and you, what you talked about is sending the email and asking. And I think what, and I'll tell you like what, what I would do, think is a great strategy. And this is something that I used to do, but literally Google what the show is and then put media credentials after it. Like I remember, do BET Awards media, media credentials. Credit. 
the first link gonna be the media credential application yes, for you to fill out. Yeah, raise the roof up in <laughs> yes. here. Raise the roof. I've seen that happen to me a few times, and that yeah. right there is the thing. You know, that's you exactly Google. what they're doing. Google, get on there. Make sure you're not getting fraudulent links because there's yeah. gonna be some people out there. But like you yeah. said, typically these paid places have positioned themselves to be the first in a Google search, mm -hmm. so usually it's legitimate. You can see, click on that thing and fill it out. You know, if you meet the criteria, what they're looking for, you're gonna hear back from somebody, and they're gonna say, "Hey, come on this day and set it up." You know, this is your thing. Yeah, I love that you reminded them of that. That's really good yeah. news. Yeah, of course. And even with the, it works with the NFL too. Like I can say for a lot of y'all want to go to the Super Bowl. I just went to the Super Bowl in Vegas. I saw that. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that was Thank awesome. You. Yeah, and so and congratulations on that. I appreciate. You got that. to ask a question to the guy. Yeah, Patrick Mahomes, Patrick man. Mahomes. That was that was such I'm an proud amazing of you. experience. I'm proud of you. Do y'all see that. how it can evolve and grow <laughs> when you just believe in yourself and you just put yeah. yourself out there? Yeah. And to think it all started with a purple and blue microphone. Listen, you can go from this to interview on Patrick Mahomes. I mean, it, the possibilities are endless, yo. <laughs> just gotta, be, just gotta believe and just you know do do all the right stuff and do do what you're supposed to do. But back to the NFL thing, literally, they got a website called NFL Communications. If you guys are into sports, mm -hmm. NFL Communications, go ahead create an account and then every time they got events coming up just go into the credential tab and there you go exactly and that's it it's really not that hard and you know they're gonna be <laughs> able to look online and see his credentials and know he ain't coming to play so you know <laughs> but just start slowly setting up some stuff on there even if it's a few posts doing what you do take yeah. it seriously be patient with the craft <clears throat> be patient with yourself and once again take the time to study what's necessary to stand out in the industry you may not have a million followers thousands of followers yet but when you have that level of passion tenacity and drive to reach your greater purpose you will reach it but don't compare yourself to other people either. That's yeah. another thing. That right Great there point. is the worst thing you can do. Quit comparing yourself. It's okay to see someone you look up to and want to be similar to that. But don't say, oh, he got that. He got this. I don't. She got this. She got this. No, don't compare yourself. Be okay with where you are. Even if you have to delay the starting point for a minute to get where you need to get, you just delay it and do it step by step as you want to. Do it when you feel like it. Don't do it because you feel forced to do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that that that's definitely a great great nugget right there, man. And I think I think that's I think that's a big problem. People are always comparing themselves. Yes. To people. That's such a that's such an issue, yo. Like why why are people doing that? <laughs> We're in a world now, Tyreek. I was just talking the other day to myself. I said the world is different than it used to be. I don't like yeah. it right now. I don't like it right now. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but it's a part of the growing pains of life. It's the differences in how people are being raised. It's the influences that they're letting, you know, overtake them and whatever influences you, unfortunately, you kind of become. If you're influenced by what you're constantly letting into your life and what you're constantly seeing, you're going to be very similar and like-minded of that type of thing. And so if that person that you're influenced by is impatient, grumpy, comparing himself, always trying to be little people, talking down on people, that's who you're going to become. Mm -hmm. Just keep that in mind. You are the company you keep. You are the people that you actually watch over and over again. You are what you ingest into your body on a regular basis. So the comparison comes from the need to compete against everybody instead of seeing people as you and I are on here together mm -hmm. talking and interviewing and chatting. Somebody else may see you and say, I ain't getting on there because I don't want nobody to see Tyreek. They see Tyreek, they know he a beast and they're going to start talking to him more than they're going to start talking to me. That's what a lot of it is. A lot of times yeah. people will see you have the package mm -hmm. and they don't want to put you on their platform because they're scared if the right person, Tyler Paris, see you. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's over for them at that time. If some of the big people see me, oh, it's over for you because they know. She know how to talk. She got her journalism <laughs> going on. He got, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's what they do. They see it and go, mm -hmm. I don't want nobody to see him because if he's gets seen by the right person, it's going to be some, you know, they're going to look at him instead of me, you know? And so yeah. it just, it's just what it is. Yeah, I think, yeah, that, no, that is a big issue because I think a lot of people think that, um, think that just because somebody else, like everybody out here can win. Yes. We, we can all win. It, it's plenty, every, it's plenty for us to eat out here. Yes. A everybody can win. Like just the other day, I had um, a mentor was talking to me about something and we're, um, I'm working on a product and he's working on the same product, but he was like, Tariq, I'm helping you because I want all, I want all of us to win. And that's what, like, why, like he could have sat there and deprived me of that information. Right. I know he wants to see me win. Everybody want, like, everybody can win out here. Just like, for me, like, there's plenty of opportunities. Man, I'm always sending out opportunities to people. Hey, got this. Matter of fact, the other day I posted this opportunity. Um, right now we got a position open at iHeart, right? And I posted it. I said, hey, uh, posted it on my story. 
if you interested and in coming over here, you want you want to be my coworkers, you know, something <laughs> like that. I just posted it and I said, hey, just hit me up. Let me know. Uh, you know, I give you the hookup and stuff like mm -hmm. because and, and some people who done worked at these big time stations who done done a lot more than I done done, you know, wanted to apply and stuff. I'm like, yes, like, come on. I love know, that and stuff. And it's just like it is. You just have to realize we can all win. And what's for you is for you. Some, you know? A friend of mine said something really great one day, and this is how she worded it. And, and I have to say this because it's sometimes it's even if you have to kind of like be on the back burner for a while or be yeah. helping someone, being a mentor, being in a position where you actually not necessarily beneath, but not at the high level of where the person that mm -hmm. you're working for or working with is yet. And she said, the problem is everybody wants to be the queen. Not enough people want to stand around and clap when the queen is coming. Everybody wants to be the queen. Sometimes you have to have those people in your life who know you the queen. They know you it. They know that they're working behind the scenes to get to their greater purpose, but they're still shouting you out along the way. And when you come in, they're like, wow, look at that. Look at her mm -hmm. shining. They're okay with that. The problem yeah. is you get with people that want everything you got and they want it now. So now that's the competition. Y'all become mm -hmm. you know enemies because now they want to compete immediately instead of being in your presence and working with you so that together y'all can win, like you said, and yeah. grow. And you both can win eventually at the end and get where you're trying to get. You know, yeah. and so that whole thing about being the king and the queen and not being willing to put in the work and being humble and be a servant, you have to mm -hmm. serve sometimes to get there. Yeah, like I know one day Pastor was preaching on about like how sometimes we're always we always want to be stuck in the center. But sometimes we just need to step aside, yes. let somebody put somebody else in the center, you know, and congratulate them and all that stuff. Yes. Oh, do you know how many people's shows could take off? Yeah. They got the funding, they got the position, they got the money, but they don't have the right personality. Mm -hmm. If they sit they self down, ain't trying to be funny, but move your butt over and get the person <laughs> that has the right energy and personality, it can still be your win. Because exactly. even though you're not in front of the camera, you're behind the production of still it. Making you money. got the right person in the chair to gather and, yeah. and to keep everyone interested in what you're doing. That's a win. For sure. Yeah. yeah Move over. Absolutely. You might not have it, but somebody exactly. else does. Yeah. <laughs> and, and sometimes, and people have to realize it's not always your time. You right. know, if it's it maybe somebody else's time right now. I and mean, sometimes people have to realize it's not always your time. And that's, you know, one thing I had to realize, you know, mm -hmm. at one point it just wasn't my time. It was somebody else's time. And, you know, there's just a couple of things you just have to realize in life, especially within this industry. This industry is highly competitive. Oh, my goodness. It became <laughs> so, worse now, you know. Oh my yeah, God. <laughs> it's, 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 it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of yeah. crazy. And I can honestly say that. Let be stay in your lane and just do you support others mm -hmm. where you feel like it don't feel obligated to do it do what you feel like doing navigate towards people you feel comfortable and confident navigating towards navigate towards genuine energy it's okay to meet new people along the way but make sure you are very observant of the people you meet it's some crazy people out here we're not trying to try to do no more fail attraction and, and for my man sickness really with not. some of these crazy people out here yeah. it's unfortunate that people's minds are wired that way but mm -hmm. they'll see you coming and already ready to come and do something to attack you or harm you because they just don't have it in them to love mm -hmm. they're surviving they don't know how to love and that's where a lot of people's mindset they have the talent and the gifts but they don't have the ability to love they don't have the ability to be humble they just want to get out there and be seen and unfortunately when they get out there sometimes they don't have what it takes to stay out there so now they're trying to survive mm -hmm. they're in survival mode you know and so be very careful about the type of people that you're around yeah that's that, that that's definitely some good stuff there but before we go i do want to ask you this uh what are some other things you're working on got anything coming up soon or anything like that no not right now I'm actually just taking it easy taking okay. my time continuing to do more <laughs> writing on my blog you know I am mm -hmm. working on revamping my website so eventually okay. some of the things that I'm working on you know you will see I'm doing more speaking engagements I will bring that up I like I, I am like going to be yeah because so that's something that I have in the works behind the scenes you'll be seeing me doing more in-person speaking engagements you know paid speaking engagements I love it where love I'm it. being booked <laughs> to speak in front of people that's something I've always dreamed of doing mm -hmm. I've done a lot of the journalism online I've done yeah. some commentating as you all know I've done my own shows and things like that and I've done like uh, interviews for other people's shows but I want to be able to just be an inspiration to people and I want to be in the room with people who want to be in the room with me and who want to gather information about what it is I do and how I've gotten there. Being a motivational speaker is part of what I have always wanted to do so you'll be seeing a lot of that and as I could start doing more of it and I go live with it I'll keep y'all posted you know yeah. tinsleybradford.com or check me out on Instagram at tinsleyb at Twitter at Tinsley B, um, and that's where I'm at.
Nice. Okay. So yeah, we'll definitely um, <clears throat> be looking for that and we'll see you at these speed engagements and all that good stuff. So yes. yeah, that's awesome. That's, <laughs> that, that, that's, that's great. And then la last but not least, I got to ask you, okay, so we're um, kind of like a little funny question because <laughs> I want to see what you have to say because I've gotten some, but we are on a national platform, right? Um, the most popular TV show on TV one on the network. I want to know, have you gotten any viewer emails or viewer like messages or dms or anything like that i used <laughs> to especially when i was on youtube when they yeah. took the channel because that's what mm -hmm. you can see it a lot i'd get it on now i get it on instagram when people see clips i've got mm -hmm. it on facebook when people see clips of me people i don't even know i've even seen people <laughs> email me from another country i've seen your pretty face on there you know and all this stuff i'm like okay you know and then on instagram i've seen people reaching out sometimes mm -hmm. people are reaching out wanting to know how to get on sometimes people are just like oh, i love you on the show i'm gonna follow mm -hmm. you because i'll be seeing you on the show you know yeah. it's been so many appearances on there that yeah you kind of become a regular to the point where people start to know you. So I have received some messages. I used to receive more of them before my YouTube channel got terminated because that's where the whole segments were. Mm -hmm. You're not just looking right in front of, you know, the app, watching all the shows every day and stumbling across my episodes. You may not see me all the time, but to answer your question, yeah. Have you? I have. <laughs> <laughs> that is I so was, funny. I know it'd be funny and, it, and it'd be like, because it's, it's one of those things where you don't even think about it, but it just kind of happens because I remember, I remember, I'm going to tell you my favorite one. <laughs> <laughs> I was on, um, somebody sent me some through Twitter and was like, and she was like, I love the way your waves were looking on the television screen or something <laughs> like that. And I was like, I was like, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Hey, um, yeah. You better be, watch out. <laughs> it, 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 it'd be funny though. I, I, I love the, I love the viewer commentary and stuff. It, it's just awesome. You oh, had, you know what? I had one before we go. This yeah. one guy said he needs somebody to help him to um, not. It was the most correct to help him help his brother not kill her. That's how he left it. Maybe oh, wow. I should have turned that one in. Oh, God. Right. Yeah, but he said he needs someone to help him to help his brother <clears throat> not kill her. <clears throat> it was the I blocked it. I was afraid of it because yeah. I was like, what is this? You know, but that's what he said. Wow, that's, <laughs> like, <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, I ain't got nothing like that. And I'm glad. Don't I guess maybe please somebody was in an abusive like relationship or whatever. But yeah. he was trying to get I'm not I don't I don't really help you do what I do. I'm uh -huh. a subtle for dating coach, but I don't. I can't stop you from doing that. People have to get out of those type situations. But yeah. that was the most that was one of the most bizarres. Wow. He just came out of nowhere on my Facebook and emailed uh -huh. me and messaged me on the messenger and said, I need somebody to stop her, stop him, my brother from killing her. I seen you on the show or whatever. I was like, okay. Wow, that's <laughs> Crazy. I, yeah, I ain't got nothing like that. I'm glad, uh, I don't know if I want that no more. Yeah, that, oof, <laughs> that, that's a lot. But I mean, hey, it just comes with the territory. It does. You know? It does. You can't can't stop it. <laughs> it just it, it just it just happens like that. But yeah, but your waves are nice. She was right. Oh, thank you. I appreciate okay. you know, I, 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 <laughs> I appreciate that. I've been working on coming back because it's been a while since I like. But I've been I've been really like training them and stuff. Yeah, you know. Yeah. 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 You know, I'm a single man out here now, so I gotta. I've been working on. Getting oh, you gotta tell me about that. <laughs> what you talking about, Willis? <laughs> we'll talk. We'll talk about it off camera. Um, <laughs> but I appreciate you so much for coming on the show. It was it was an amazing time. It, it, it was great. And thank you. once again, thank you so much for hooking me up with this fatal attraction, man. I oh, so I couldn't have I couldn't have helped a better person. I'm so proud of you. So. I'm so proud of you. Thank, thank you so you. much for having me on your show. Yeah. This is an oh, amazing yeah. platform, and I see you continuing to do great things and yeah. blessings to you and mm -hmm. everything that you are hoping to accomplish. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that so much. And guys, appreciate y'all so much for taking time to tune into this episode of NJP Navigating Journalism Podcast. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below and share the video with your fellow journos and journalists all that good stuff because we dropped some amazing gems on this episode and this stuff can actually help somebody mm -hmm. so go back watch the whole thing if you're just now tuning in man it was great and we we dropped some tips on how to get credentials to places and get on these red carpets get on these shows get these interviews like all this stuff like right. this one has some real sauce in it, it like, i'm talking about some deep good it barbecue did. sauce yo like it, it, it was great <laughs> <laughs> so appreciate y'all so much staying tuned in make sure y'all go shop the tyreek win collection uh click the link in my bio on instagram tyreek win iHeartRadio, 
or if you're looking on YouTube, literally you can shop right below down the video. Got all the different shirts, the sweatshirts, all that good stuff. Get your merch, man. Go ahead and support. Appreciate right, y'all right, so much right. tuning in. Can I say one more Peace thing? Out. Oh yeah, go ahead. Shout out to the cameraman. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Dad. Because you know, <laughs> I'm looking at myself on screen and you're getting your girl's angles all right. I was a little concerned, didn't have time to get my hair done today, but you know, shout out to the cameraman. That's your father. Oh yeah. He, he I love that. One there. of the we, most supportive things. Y'all are just a bomb. But thank you so much for having me look glossy on camera <laughs> oh yeah for sure yeah man look yeah always shout out to dad and stuff he yeah that by the way dad is the man behind the podcast so you know he's been he's been filming it as we trade service i film his podcast he oh. films my podcast so that's just how we do that i love it i love it <laughs> yeah a little, little father-son duo right there so appreciate y'all so much for tuning in peace out